हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑन द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स इन लास्ट टू थ्री लेक्चर्स वी आर फैमिल विद द टेस्टिंग इंस्पेक्शन एंड स्टैंडर्ड इन द कंपोजिट विच इज द यूनिट नंबर फिफ्थ इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी शो वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ द एंडिटी मेथड नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टिव इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ द कंपोजिट मेथड्स टूडे वी लर्न द वन मेथड ऑफ द एन डी टी आई विच इज द एडी कनन टेस्टिंग मेथड एंड सम एच एस टी एम एंड आई एस ओ स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ द कंपोजिट मटेरियल टर्न टू टॉपिक वन विच इज एडी कनन टेस्टिंग एडी कनन टेस्टिंग इज बेस्ड ऑन द फिनोमिना ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन A conductor carrying electrical current is associated with magnetic field around it. The magnetic flux is normal to the direction of electrical current. As alternating current in a conductor produces a magnetic field with corresponding varying strength and directions. Now, if a second conductor is placed close to the first, the varying magnetic field induces electrical current in the second conductor. further if the first conductor is a coil and second conductor is a flat object the induced current follows a closed loop circular path in the plane of the object which are shown in the figure on the next page this end induced current due to the due to their remains a blends with it is are called as the eddy current see the figure of the ed current testing which is the setup for this test specification which is called as the second conductor then ed current then primary magnetic field are generated for there are ac current supply with coil with the alternative current first conductor means there are two conductors are considered here ed current testing as an ndt techniques involves inducting ed currents in the pcman the pcman is nothing but the second conductor wrapped above a probe containing a coil conductor carrying alternating current is used for excitation of the pcman the probe is also used for receiving signals back from the pcman alternatively a separate probe is used for receiving signals the alternating current in the probe probing coil generates an oscillating magnetic field referred to as the primary magnetic field which in turn produces ed current in the pcman the ed current produces a secondary magnetic field which interacts with the primary magnetic field so the mutual induction inductance the ed current is affected by the defects such as near surface cracks the variations such as changes in the amplitude and pattern of the ed current and its association magnetic field cause changes in the impedance of the receiving probe coil and ed scope instrument connected to the receiving coils plots the changes in the impedance amplitude and phase angle which are used for identifying the defects in the material there are various advantages of this ed current testing first one is the ed current testing is a simple one which is reliable which is quick method as in the entity then by employing a number of channels in an array a large specimen area can be covered in a single pass which results in the drastic reduction in the inspection time and increased reliability part preparation required is the minimum access to both the slides of the parts is not necessary and which uh, also essential it is non conduct method that the probe doesn't need to be conduct with the parts 
then some disadvantages of this ed cousin testing the applicability of the ed cousin testing is limited to the only conductive materials among pmcs it is suitable mainly for the carbon fiber and poured composites the depth of penetration is limited and surface and near surface defects can only be reliably detected by the is techniques it is not suitable for detecting defects deep inside the material it is not suitable for the detection of planar defects aligned in the direction of the ed current the surface finish of the test specimen may be interface with the electromagnetic field high skill trainer manpower is essential for the interpretation of the data recorded ac primary magnetic field ed current test specimen which is second specimen conductor coil with the alternative current which is the first conductor are to be required now turn in this way we will finish all the ndt techniques non destructive inspection or testing non destructive testing methods are so today next one topic which is the astm and iso standard of the composite materials composite test standards composite tests have been standardized by a number of organization the main international composite testing standard are those maintained by astm iso and cen european e e n european committee for the standardization in addition to the international standard there are number of manufacturers priority uh, standard in the wide spread use including the bss series from boeing and the aitm series from the airbus standard test methods are available for the most of the mechanical and non mechanical parameters of fibers resins tripex lamina laminates typically a standards covers the following aspects of the test scope of the test test specimen and sampling apparatus equipment and machinery physical principle test procedure calculation and reporting of results the primary utility of the standards is the efficiency and reliability achieved by using them in the test program standards are prepared and constantly modified with time specifications and standards are an essential parts in the composite products development program in general and testing in a particular a number of organization are available worldwide working for the preparation and improvement of the standards some of the common standard in the field of composites are listed here american society for the mechanical engineer which is called as asme then astm international formally known as the american society for testing and materials ast british standard for the bsi groups bs german standard for the standardization din indian standard institute for isi international organization for standardization which is iso then sae international formally known as a society of automotive engineers sae thank you friends